Hi, this is Karen Turner. I'm going to give you a few tips on uh, your monitors today. Um, many people now have multiple monitors and one of the problems I've spotted when I've been going around helping people in large offices is that the monitors are set up wrongly so that when you slide your mouse across to the left, for example, if you've got another monitor on your left, um, it won't move over to your next monitor. You have to go to the right and then it appears on the left of the left hand screen. So they're mixed up. What you do is you would right click on your monitor and go to screen resolution. You'll get this little window up. Um, perhaps what isn't apparent at first glance is that you can drag these around. So if I move my monitor number one to the left, that's my smaller monitor that I just have as a peripheral to read emails and that sort of thing. And my main monitor, I want to be this number two monitor. Um, so I'll just click on that. And this is the one that you can see has got the start menu on, which is fine for me. Also within this screen, I can change other settings, such as make text and other items larger or smaller. Quite often people ask me to do this. And here you see the screen where, um, for example, have it on medium size, 125%. Large can be a little large. Um, the normal setting is 100% default. If you have difficulty seeing and reading things on the screen, try using the magnifier tool. And I'll just pop that on to show you. Whatever I now roll over becomes easier to read. It magnifies a small area of the screen. Okay. Now, if you want that off, you've got to find it down on your taskbar. And so you move it down to your taskbar, and when you go over the, the uh, screen itself, you will find the ability to turn it off and that's how you do it. Okay while I'm in there um, you've also got personalization which is how to change the screen picture. I've got desktop background number image 10 here which I quite like but you've got plenty of other ones to choose from. You see all these different themes, architecture, nature and scenes so you can have something different for a change if you want to or there's basic ones such as Windows 7 basics and uh, you can easily change that over. Just click on it wait a few seconds and it changes your picture. Okay, so um, if you want to change your desktop icons you can go up here and you've got various icons that are by default onto your desktop such as the recycle bin and computer which replaces the old my computer and a way to get onto your network and you can put other things on there such as control panel or users files uh, which some people find quite useful. Uh, I'll pop them on, just apply that and then they will come on as well. You can change your mouse pointer. Um, sometimes what I do is change my mouse pointer so that it's more visible while I'm demonstrating something, especially if I'm doing online training. Um, there's a number of different pointers available and you can also change your account picture which is the one you see when you log on. So this is the mouse pointers. Um, got various mouse pointers that you can use here. And I'm using the Windows Aero scheme. So the mouse pointer looks generally like a mouse. And that's the one that I've chosen to use. But there's plenty of other ones, such as the magnified scheme, where you'll see a bigger mouse. And uh, that might be useful, again, if somebody has problems with um, being able to see where the mouse is as they move across the screen. There's a number of other access features in Ease of Access Center that you can use um, to help somebody to visualize the display or maybe even use a computer without a mouse or a keyboard if they've any difficulties with that. So um, various settings here to make the mouse easier to use or the keyboard easier to use. And again you can see here you're allowed to start the magnifier from here so they've put it in a few different places. For someone who has difficulty seeing the text on the screen they may well want a narrator which will read aloud to them a document. And you have got an on-screen keyboard if you want it which could be useful and you could set up high contrast but sometimes I find people with visual impairments actually don't like to see a very bright colour on the screen. So you can, if you're not sure, try changing those different 
sections and you can always go to this little link here to get recommendations to make your computer easier to use. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about for now. Um, when you've changed down your monitor displays you can move things around as you like and um, you can perhaps even use a windows key and arrows to move things across to take up half the screen which can be quite popular I found. Um, sometimes people like to have one thing on one part of the screen and something else perhaps outlook on another part of the screen so I just give that a little shake and then move that one over to the left so that's quite nice and uh, you've got all sorts of things that you could have in there which might be useful you might be able to copy and paste between two word documents or word in excel for example so um, good luck with trying all those things out